I'm three on your sides, Gary Harper. This past Labor Day weekend, you probably did some grilling, but Consumer Reports says you probably didn't know your grill can also be a smoker. With grilling season in full swing, you might be wondering how else can I use my grill? Paul Hope is a grill master with Consumer Reports and a fan of all things barbecue. He says try your hand at slow smoking on your grill. Smoking imparts a really deep, rich flavor to food that you won't find from grilling alone. And foods that are smoked for many hours actually break down slowly and become really tender. Of course, some grills are better suited for smoking than others. For example, charcoal and Kamado grills work well because you could just add wood chips or chunks into the charcoal at any point and get a nice smoky flavor. Even a gas grill that's great at indirect heating can handle the job. And enthusiasm for slow smoking has not gone unnoticed by manufacturers. So a lot of manufacturers have noticed there's been a big spike in the interest in smoking. And what some gas grill manufacturers have started to do is actually build in integrated smoker boxes that you can fill with wood chips to smoke on a gas grill. The Weber Summit S470 has a built-in smoke tray. However, Consumer Reports says you don't need to spend nearly that much for a top performer. For a lot less money, this recommended next grill from Home Depot outperforms the Weber when it comes to indirect cooking and temperature range. It doesn't have a dedicated smoker box, but there is a trick from Consumer Reports. For about 10 bucks, you can get an aftermarket smoker box at a home center and just add wood chips directly to that. If charcoal is more your fuel of choice, Consumer Reports says this barrel style grill from Dynaglow makes smoking a cinch. Now, Consumer Reports says smoking meat on a grill, it does take some practice, so if it doesn't turn out the first time, of course, try again. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.